Here at team number 1986, Team Titania, one of the best teams in first, in my opinion. And I'm here with Eli, Sam, and Andrew. We're going to talk a little bit more about the robot on Behind the Bumpers. So, Eli, I want to start with you here. One of the things that really stands out to me is you guys have a really cool climb. Uh, so why don't we show off a little bit about that, and why don't you talk about it? For sure, thanks. So our climb's really, really cool. It's really quick. We can get up in about five seconds from the time we hit the platform to the time that we're fully up and on the plat on the uh, level three platform there. Right here, we've got two very large arms. These actually move down at the same time that the jacks here in the back are moving down to pick up the back end of the robot. So those are kind of, those are mechanically connected so that each of those, those move in sync with each other. And so that when we're coming up, we're perfectly straight and onto the platform. Uh, so these arms, we've got strings here that are mechanically connected to strings on the jacks in the back there. Uh, so it's really quick, really fast, and uh, we've gotten it 100% of the time since we've been here at the tournament, so that's been really exciting for us. Yeah, you guys have been looking really good through that so far. Uh, Sam, what do you want to talk about on your robot today? I want to talk to you guys about um, our intake system. It is separated from our elevator, which is something we don't normally do. Uh, we have we, uh, Omni wheels here use, and a thumb to grab the ball off the floor, as well as vacuum pumps here to allow us to pick the hatch panel up. Uh, we have herders at the bottom that allow us to mechanically center the hatch panel on the vacuum pumps, which are able to hand it to the Velcro and the ball handler on the elevator. Thanks, Sam and Andrew. Why don't we wrap up here talking about the uh, elevator you guys have? Uh, by the way, uh, can you talk a little about too, just kind of the aesthetics here? About you guys always really stand out each year for that. Of course. So this year we decided to do a two-stage elevator, and part of that two-stage elevator is this entire mechanism right here. Now, to articulate the balls and the discs, we use uh, the gripper here and then the, the Velcro here, and the whole thing moves up on the first stage. Uh, as it moves up, we have set points that are used that are exact heights for both the disc and the balls to place them in the certain places on the elevator and the cargo ship. We also have an intake uh, place for the cargo from the loading station. Uh, an important part of this also is that we want to make sure that our motor has enough power to drive the elevator. So we have a tension spring in the back here that lifts up each stage uh, to kind of help with that. We also have a sponsor, Billy Goat, uh, that powder coats our robot green every year. And we find that that really adds to not only the team spirit, but it can really distinctify us from other teams and make our robot look just that little bit better. Well, Team Titanium 1986, good luck to the rest of the competition season. Thanks for taking time to tell us about your bot. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live and independent.